This video is all about weighing. How often do you weigh yourself? Worrying about weighing is a part of nearly all eating disorders. Some people find themselves checking their weight very frequently, perhaps daily or even multiple times a day, normally as a way of seeking some reassurance about their weight. Others have learnt to completely avoid being weighed, as seeing the number on the scales has become so distressing and can ruin the rest of their day. In the next short video, we are going to talk a bit more about weighing and help you to understand why we recommend weight being checked once a week as part of treatment. How much do you think weight fluctuates by within the course of a day? We know that weight fluctuates by up to five to six pounds from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. What factors influence normal weight fluctuation? These fluctuations in weight can relate to hormonal changes, hydration levels, how much fluid we have drunk, when we last went to the toilet, etc. We wouldn't expect other bodily measurements like heart rate or blood pressure to stay at exactly the same point. Weight fluctuation over the course of the day is different to longer term weight change. This longer term weight change basically means changes to fat and or muscle stores. We need at least four weighings over several weeks to identify trends in real weight rather than getting this trend confused with any day to day fluctuations. Being weighed once a week allows us to look beyond the day-to-day -day fluctuations and see the longer-term weight trend. So let's summarise why we recommend your weight being checked only once a week. Firstly, weighing only once a week means you don't fall into the trap of weighing yourself multiple times. Focusing on those weight fluctuations, which are really inaccurate about actual weight change, and generally leave people feeling worse. I wonder, how does it make you feel when you weigh yourself? How does it impact your mood and your eating for the rest of the day? How helpful is it for you to weigh yourself more than once a week? Secondly, getting used to being weighed once a week is a chance to practice what we have just learnt about weight that it is normal to fluctuate and we need to look at around four weeks of weights to see any trend. And therefore, with practice, this can help reduce the distress and anxiety associated with the number on the scale. Thirdly, treatment will involve making some changes to your eating. This is likely to cause some anxiety about what will happen to your weight. Weekly weighing gives information on what is happening with your weight as you begin to normalise your eating patterns. This is really important for challenging fears around weight gain, as often what the brain thinks is going to happen to your weight if you eat that food is often totally inaccurate. Lastly, we know that there are some very serious consequences to physical health associated with eating disorders, including the risk of death. Part of our role is to keep you safe and monitoring your weight is one aspect of monitoring your physical health. Let's end with one final question. We know that making change can be incredibly hard and there can be lots of worries and distress about body image and self-esteem which can sometimes be a barrier to making change. We would like you to take a moment to think about the people in your life that you care about most and ask yourself, what is it that you value most about them? Why are you friends with them? And why do you love them? Have you chosen your friends or partner or loved ones based on their weight or shape? Is their weight one of the things you value most about them? If weight is not a key factor in the reasons you care for these loved ones, what does this tell you? If your loved ones are not valuing you based on your weight and shape, what are your characteristics that they do love and value most? 
Perhaps you might even be brave enough to ask them. Try writing these positive qualities about yourself down and keep reminding yourself of them daily. We can tell you with absolute certainty that your weight is the least interesting thing about you. The number on the scales will not tell you your value. So what are you taking away from this video? Hopefully you will remember that we have spoken about the following, that it is normal for weight to fluctuate by several pounds across the day. Checking your weight multiple times means you become preoccupied with these weight fluctuations, which are different to actual weight changes and can tend to negatively impact on your mood for the rest of the day. Having your weight checked once a week and looking at the trend over four weeks is the only way to look at what is happening to your weight. We won't know if any change week by week is just a natural fluctuation or an actual increase or decrease until we look at the pattern across the four weeks. Finally, and importantly, your weight is the least interesting thing about you.